De reden is omdat wij de overlast hier gewoon zat zijn. Winkeldiefstal, mensen worden bedreigd, mensen worden geïntimideerd, ze breken in auto's, ze breken in huizen. We zijn de overlast zat. Het is een bende, we slapen 700 mensen s'nachts hier buiten op het terrein. En wij zeggen in Trapel van echte vluchtelingen, die zijn welkom. Mensen uit Oekraïne die echt vluchten voor, voor de islamterreur. Maar dit zijn bijna allemaal Noord-Afrikaanse jongens. En die hebben allemaal overlast hier, die geven allemaal overlast hier. En wij zijn helemaal zat. Unfortunately, I'm uh, surprised from the bad conditions here because uh, I didn't hear about it. If I heard it, if I see it before, I will not come here because, uh, uh, as I told you, I think I'm in Middle East country, not in Dutch, not in Holland. Uh, these are 700 people sleeping rough, no showers, very bad facilities, no health care from the institutions. Um, it might not be as crowded as on the Greek Isles, but if you come here after a long journey as a refugee and you think you find safety, but you find neglect and you sleep like this, even if you are he healthy, you'll get sick here. There's about 60,000 of Ukrainians in municipalities that are being housed there. Uh, and there you can see it was possible. Um, but when it comes to non-Ukrainian refugees, people here are mostly from Syria, from Turkey, Afghanistan. Um, municipalities still look the other way. I, I slept uh, three days and it was so cold. Uh, last night it was windy, so uh, there was a strong wind and we couldn't sleep after uh, 3 p.m. 3 a.m. Uh, uh, and yeah, we, uh, we, we don't feel safe because we are outside of the center. We, we, we didn't enter and uh, it's, um, we, we don't have the permission to, to, to enter inside. Uh, inside. Uh, and yeah, uh, we have um, no information about our future.